Alright guys, welcome to episode 22 of my horror movie reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Frontiers. This was directed by Xavier Gens, who also did the film adaptation of the video game Hitman. Um, produced by Lauren Tolleron. Um, cast Karina Testa as Yasmin. David Saracino as Tom. Samuel Libaihan as Goats and Jean-Pierre Joris as Von Geisler and it starts off there's um, rioting in Paris because of um, an election, a presidential election um, that the people don't agree with there's loads of rioting and there's a group of thieves and they decide to take advantage of all this rioting and go and rob a bank they rob the bank they get out and they're chased by the police and there's a gunfight one of them gets injured but they all manage to get away um, so then they need to leave Paris practically because they're on the run so they jump in two cars um, a couple of the guys set off straight away and shoot off and then in the other car there's um, a man and woman a young man and woman who are on an, on and off couple and the woman's um, brother who's injured um, and they take him to the hospital they take him in and um, he dies waiting to be seen by the doctors and the girl has to run out and jump into the car which is chased out by police and so they set off following their friends who are I don't know maybe an hour or so in front and they're in the countryside and the first car pulls up at an, um, an, at an hostel and they go in the hostel and there's a couple of women in there and they're having a little drink and a laugh with them and they end up taking these women who are part of the family that run the hostel up to their room for some fun and to play around with them a little bit and one of the women sees a bag I don't know if she sees the money in the bag or what but she sees the bag and she goes downstairs and tells her brother Goats so um, Go Goats' other brother who's in it I'm not sure what his name is he goes up and acts like a police officer and asks them where they're going and what's in the bag and um, so they a fight ensues anyway and they get downstairs and they try and escape the hostel and one of them gets his fingers shot off by um, the guy who was acting as the cop and they jump in their car and they shoot off but Goats jumps in his Land Rover and chases them and eventually knocks them and rams their car into a big deep hole that used to be an old mine shaft well this mine shaft happens to be under the family's home um, and they're stuck down there and Goats thinks they've died because they've crashed and he goes so they're stuck down there so they're walking through these like catacombs and they come across um, like an hole um, high up on the wall and they climb up and they see that it's going up to somewhere so they said this must be an exit so they climb up this like little tunnel and it's very claustrophobic at I was really claustrophobic by this scene where they're in this tunnel um, even more so than the descent it made it just made me really claustrophobic and um, they get they get stuck in this hole well the front guy does and um, the guy behind him is going come on come on we need to get out of this hole panicking and he's got a camera with him and he's got a night vision on his camera and he looks behind him because he hears a noise in the tunnel and he sees like subhuman mutant type people behind him crawling up so they all so they panic and they, he manages to push him up to the to the top of the tunnel he opens the like hatch because there's a hatch at the top of the tunnel and there's a big guy like a big um, hillbilly type guy with a meat cleaver and he chops the guy's head and then drags him out and the other guy behind him has to go back down the um, hole and he doesn't um, he doesn't get killed by these uh, mutants at, at the um, well you don't really see it so you don't know what's happened but then the other two that went to the hospital with the brother they end up at this hostel and the two women are still there they say oh yeah your friends have been here they've come to, they've gone to our house for a meal we'll take you there so they take them in the car down the road to their house and they're all sat there waiting for the meal and they're asking where where's his friends and they're making excuses and then they say, oh, his father's here now, so you all have to stand um, till he comes in because it's his dinner party. 
and he walks in and he's a, he must be some kind of Nazi SS general or something in the World War um, World War Two, and he's dressed in full Nazi outfit and he doesn't take a liking to the um, male in the, t in the couple because he's like kind of mixed race and um, so the male makes his excuses and says I need to go to the toilet and starts having a snoop round and he ends up going into this room and he sees his friend who got cut with the hatchet um, coming out of the arch hung upside down with meat hooks through his ankles dangling up where they're bleeding him um, obviously to eat but he's still alive they're just bleeding him alive and but he's nearly dead and he tries lifting him off the hooks and he can't do it and um, he ends up saying the guy who's hung up ends up just saying run for your lives get what you need to get and just get out of there so they end up um, he ends up going back into where they're having the meal and um, they end up trying to run away anyway and a fight ensues and they end up getting captured and put in like a pen big like steel um, fenced off pen um, with hair down on the floor and they keep them captive um, and the girl manages to escape well the the male in the two of them ends up getting killed the girl escapes for a bit but they recapture her and then they say right you're gonna be part of our family um, the Nazi guy I think his name is Von Geisel I'm not too sure um, he says you're gonna be my son's wife and you're gonna breed with him and we're gonna make loads more of us for this family it's, it's like a cult type um, family so then they keep her chained up in this room which is really weird it's like a, a children's room with all toys around and she's talking to another girl one of the girls from the um, hostel who's in the room with her brushing her hair and she says oh yeah it happened to me and but now they're my family um, and we, me and um, one of the other family members keep having babies but, but because they're not normal um, well normal to Von Geisler they have to keep them in the catacombs downstairs and they feed them on human body parts so that explains the subhuman creature type people down in the um, catacombs and then she has to try and escape really and it's just really brutal um, the guy that had the video camera that had to go back down the um, hut tunnel um, he dies a very horrible death they go down hunting for him when they find out that he's down there and um, he ends up going into this like boiler type room like a pressure cooker and they lock him in and turn the pressure up and he melts and it's oh it's just it's great it looks so fucking real realistic how he's melting away um, so yeah it's a great great French film one of the best um, and I would definitely 100% recommend it um, I'm a big fan of, of the French film French horror films the new wave um, Inside's my favorite I've just done a review on the DVD fiends for that one so if you want to check that out go to that channel and it'll be up there but yeah I definitely recommend Frontiers as well so thanks guys and look out for me in episode 23.